Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Megur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use tretinoin on my face and what are the precautions that you need to take care of. First, I'm just gonna put my hair up. I don't want my hair coming on my face when I'm washing my face and everything. So the things that you have to be aware of before you use tretinoin. Tretinoin is all trans retinoic acid. So it's a very powerful ingredient. So the concentration of tretinoin that I have right now with me is 0.025% and it is also with the antibiotic that is cindamycin. So cindamycin hinders the growth of the bacteria that causes acne on your skin. Well, it is an uh, antibiotic. So antibiotics stops or hinders the growth of the pathogenic bacteria or bacteria in general. Whereas on the other hand, tretinoin helps to reduce the oil formation on your skin by reducing the formation of the acne pimple. And then also it helps to turn on your cell turnover which helps to have a flawless finish to your skin. One more thing that you have to keep in mind is that you just cannot randomly buy it in any shop. You have to have a prescription for this. So I am a scientist and I am a researcher basically. So I get it through my sources. So because of my education and my license and permissions. But if you are just a normal person and you're just going to the medics or else you're going to pharmacy and asking for this i don't think you will get it so there are different concentrations of tretinoin as well there is a 0.025 percent and 0.05 percent and also 0.1 percent so there is like different types of tretinoin so these can easily get absorbed into your bloodstream and that's the reason why a big no-no is given to the females who are pregnant. So tretinoin cannot be used when you are pregnant and also any sort of retinol. It is just because there hasn't been any research, like such a wide research on this topic. So that's why doctors tend to take precautions so that they don't see an adverse effect in the fetus formation or else in just you know delivery problems so they just don't advise retinol to the women who are pregnant all right then i'm just gonna be starting off my skincare routine and i'm gonna show how i actually use it for the face wash i like to start with my cerave foaming cleanser and so some sort of uh, oil that i don't want to really work with while i'm applying tretinoin all right so i have washed my face i'm just gonna take a paper towel this is the best because this doesn't lead to uh, fine lines and I absolutely love it. I just like to pat it all over my face to get rid of all the water droplets. So you have to keep one thing in mind that if you are applying tretinoin, it's a very powerful uh, type of vitamin A. So you just cannot use it on a damp skin. That's a big no-no because when you have a damp skin, any product will penetrate well into your skin and you don't want that you just want to work on the upper layer of your organ that is your skin you don't want it to penetrate deep within so you just have to be very careful when you're applying tretinoin that your whole skin is very dry so yeah that is it i'm just gonna let it dry a bit until that time i'm just gonna prepare for my moisturizer all right it seems like my skin is a bit dry now and I can apply tretinoin. I can actually see that it's a bit dry because I was using it for, you know, for some time and my skin did show improvement. And then I'm just gonna take a pea size amount. So you see here, that is it. That is the pea size amount. It's very liquidy. So I'm just gonna apply it on my face a sap there's gonna be five dots so it's gonna be here here on my nose forehead chin and then gently massage it all over
my skin yes So whatever is left on your fingertips, you just can apply it near your eye area and also your eyelids. Don't take an extra pea size amount of tretinoin, just the remaining product should be applied there. That's it. Now you have to wait for at least five to 10 minutes till the product is absorbed into your skin and then you're gonna use the moisturizer. Well, you're gonna see some dryness after using tretinoin. So I'm gonna suggest the new users of tretinoin to use it once a week and then move ahead with twice a week and then you can move ahead with everyday application of tretinoin. So I used once a week for at least half a year and then I switched to twice a week for one whole year. So the safer option can be other than tretinoin is adapalene 0.1%. It is the best option if you want something that is safer than tretinoin, then this is the one that you can use. Well, I think for me, I can see that this product has been absorbed now. Nice. You know, when you're talking, it helps to not to concentrate on your product and it just easily gets absorbed. <laughs> so for the moisturizer options, I have the La Roche-Posay moisturizer. It's one of my favorite. The second balm that I absolutely love is the La Roche-Posay Sika Plus B5 balm. It is because it is very thick consistency and when your skin is getting dry when you're applying tretinoin you need something that has a thick consistency so this is one of the balm that i really recommend for the people it is also good for the sensitive skin like baby skin so these are also for babies with one week or older babies so it's one of the amazing bumps other than that is my all-time favorite CeraVe moisturizer but it's very light and for my treatment of tretinoin i need something that's a thick balm fried balm today i just want that i can see that tretinoin is nicely absorbed yeah but did you observe when i was applying my tretinoin i was like patting gently near my eye area it is because the skin over here here and here are very sensitive and you need to be very careful when you're applying such a powerful ingredient so i was really careful and i was just patting it i just don't want to um, have acne all over my skin because i have suffered from hyperpigmentation pigmentation sunspots as well as acne for quite some time and i have seen that adapalene and tretinoin has helped me a lot so i'm just gonna take moisturizer as much as i want one of the thickest balms that I've seen and I just love it for tretinoin and adapalene use and I've seen that my skin doesn't tend to get dry as it was before it has like nice emollients that lets the water stay into your skin and it's also good for the dry weather that is like really cold weather and at last I'm just gonna use my Eucerin Aqua 4 uh, lip SOS lip repair and I'm just gonna apply it on my lips perfect so that is it i am ready for my bedtime so thank you very much for watching this video and i am gonna be coming on with new videos that can help you understand how does skincare formulation work and how to even apply different ingredients into your skincare routine 
So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.